real estate market for the third quarter. So far, the story has been prices are staying elevated, even with higher interest rates. I'm really torn if that's going to continue or not. Um, I can see good arguments for both sides. I should make a separate video on that. Uh, but anyway, let's just jump into Parallel and see what happened in the third quarter. So this is resale. We're starting with resale. This is number of ho homes sold. You can see it continuing to decline um, from the third quarter of 2022 to the quarter that just passed. Uh, average selling price, pretty steady. Dropped a little bit, but that's pretty steady um, year over year and quarter over quarter. Um, oh, I should mention too, I'm doing Pearland. I also included Manville in, and Iowa Colony. So communities like Meridiana and Pomona are going to be included. Um, the only really nearby community that people kind of call Pearland area sometimes would be Lakes and Savannah. I didn't include, I think it shows up as Rocheron on um, the MLS. So I didn't include that. Um, so yeah, moving on to price per square foot. Yeah, even though the price dipped slightly, the price per square foot um, is stayed exactly the same year over year. A slight bump up quarter over quarter. So yeah, that's the uh, resale market in parallel. I'm gonna go to new homes. Um, pretty steady in the Pearland area. There's a little bit of a bump here, but pretty steady year over year. Um, you know, it's funny for the, this set of videos, I'm doing a bunch of other nearby uh, cities as well. Um, it was the case that um, more or less all these cities had the same patterns and this time in the third quarter not so much so if you're interested in any other communities check out those videos too um, so that's the number of homes new homes sold and the average new selling or so the average selling price um, again fairly steady year over year and quarter over quarter and then the last one, average price per square foot. Um, definitely, a, that's a significant dip, I guess. Um, about $7 a square foot. So we'll just check in the next quarter and uh, see if that continues on or not. Um, and then months of inventory. So uh, typically it's seen as a balanced market if there's six months of inventory. Um, anything less than that, it's a seller's market. Anything more than that, it's a buyer's market. This one, um, you can see the big dip here uh, during COVID where months of inventory went way, way down. That's that's true of like pretty much all areas. Um, it's looks like it's trending up, but we'll just have to see over time. This could be like a temporary spike like this one or this one. Um, but it's still pretty hot. Um, if you're a seller, it's still a good time to sell. Um, we'll just see how that works out in the fourth quarter, see if it's still staying a strong seller's market but that's the case now it's still a strong seller's market just because there's so little inventory out there um there's always gonna be some buyers and they need something so that's Pearland. um yeah please check out some of my other videos uh like i said i'm doing other cities like sugarland and missouri city katie richmond rosenberg and one on sienna specifically thanks a lot have a great day bye